welcome to Lisa Marbonard. We're gonna do two fun things today. Um, I'm gonna revisit a really old color combo that I did like three years ago. And we're gonna use it to compare cell activators because today we are comparing Triart, um, Titanium White and Payne's Gray to, I think I can do this all on one hand. Amsterdam, titanium white, and Payne's gray. Um, I'm not, so I have used the Triart Blue as a cell activator. It worked nice, but again, you can't really compare until you compare the proper, I don't wanna say the proper cell activator colors, but they do work the best in my opinion. Titanium white and Payne's gray. I prefer Payne's Gray over black. I find black always takes over way too much. I'm not interested in black at all. Uh, the fun part is, so when I first started doing blooms, I didn't have all the fun, fancy paints that I have now. I literally had like Liquitex paints and Amsterdam paints. And that's as fun as it got for me, but I would just mix up whatever crazy colors. And... Um, because my goal was to just make cells and learn how to do that. So I had some crazy color combinations, but people like love them because they were so like wild and crazy and I wasn't even thinking about it. So I found an old picture. I'll like post it for you here. And I tried to like, I obviously couldn't remember what colors I used, but um, I know that they were pretty much this family of colors. So let's talk about one of my like old school. And if you're like, really old school Lisa Marvin fan, like if you're a real blooper from like two, three years ago, you would know that this used to be my ultimate color. Now this is gouache. It looks like it's spelled gouache, G-O-U-C-H-E. Gouache. Now gouache is different than acrylic paints and you're gonna ask me why. And I'm gonna say, I don't know. They have different fillers in them. Um, However, oh, it's brand new. However, this gouache, the gouache does work in your pouring medium and you can't really tell. And it's, you can't tell it's a different consistency at all. It just looks like regular paint consistency. So, but this just happens, this color, they only have in the gouache, okay? This fluorescent violet, look at it. Isn't that fun? Oosh, moves. Okay, so. That's going to be in there. Another color I used quite often is this Prism Violet. Another gouache. Let's see. I've used her before. All right. And another color I used quite often. I've used these as cell activators too. This works as a cell activator. Um, fluorescent Opera Pink. Fun, right? So there you go. Those are the gouaches. Now, a color I think I saw, although I don't, I'm not sure if I had this brand back when I first started because it's Matisse Fancy from Australia. I love this color though, um, Australian Sky Blue. Isn't it a pretty color? It's like a dusty um, periwinkle, I guess. And I believe a color similar to this. This is um, ultramarine blue. It's very crazy and bright, but why not do it, right? Okay, and also what I talked it off with is um, Deco Art. I'm trying to see if I have the bottle 24 karat gold. I've been mixing this up a lot lately. I don't have it to show you, but Deco Art, oh, here it is. Extreme Sheen. So these are like my old school favorite things. So what I'm, I thought I would do is compare, um, maybe I'll do six inch trivets or something. Cause I also realized like, you know, I do a lot of bigger pieces, but most people don't uh, like you all who are practicing and learning use like coasters, which is great. And coasters are so much easier. So why don't we, I'll do either coasters or trivets. We'll see what I have. Um, to compare. So the point is I'm going to do the exact same colors, the exact same way. And we're going to check out the difference side by side between Triart 
in Amsterdam. So why do not, why don't I, why don't we mix up the cell activators first? And you know what? I have to write on the cup so I don't get them confused. So I will be right back and I'll show you the picture of my inspiration because it won't look like this at all, but I'll show you the inspiration. Be right back. Okay, I have my four friends laid out. I have my body, my body, <laughs> my bottle of Aussie Flow. We're gonna shake, shake, shake. Now, it doesn't matter what you do first, but I'm just gonna fill up the cups first. And I think I'm gonna have to open up a new bottle. Um, just, let's see. So this, these are four ounce cups. Why don't I go <clears throat> about three ounces, okay? Or no, I'll do half because whatever. Okay, so we're doing two ounces. Almost. Okay, I'm gonna open up a new bottle for the last one. All right. Although it's not, a, that's not a true science experiment, is it? Because you want, you know what? Look at how science I am. Because that bottle might be a little thicker than this one, we want, so, look what I'm doing. Science. We're gonna do about one ounce in each cup, okay? Look at me, I'm like, can you believe it? Are you guys so impressed with me? Now that is how you measure. <laughs> Just joking, okay. We are about one ounce each. This guy needs a little bit more. Okay, again, it doesn't really matter. I just want to, you know, be as thorough as I can be. Um, okay, let's start. So, you know I don't measure, uh, but, we're going to actually open these up first. Um, why don't we look, what, before I add them, why don't we look at the um, consistency of the actual tube? If I can open this, which of course, there we go. A lot of good packaging here, fresh tube, look at that. Okay, so I don't know if we're really gonna be able to tell the difference, but why don't we play around with it? Um, I'm gonna get a little, this thing here, you know, one of my wood, okay. Ooh, see, look, it just comes out, it's very soft. So I love their consistency. It's very luscious, okay. It does have a similar consistency to Joe Sonia paints, which are pretty soft, okay. Very creamy, all right, creamy. Now let's compare. Of course it's gonna come out different because it's like a whole different tube, but let's see how this one comes out. Definitely thicker, definitely thicker, okay? Again, that's great for cells. There's nothing wrong with thicker. We're just kind of comparing, all right? I can tell it's like a touch thicker, but again, big one. So, and it's probably gonna be the same for that, but I just wanted to get a baseline here. So, let's try one bloop, two bloops. Wait, bloop, that wasn't, okay, that was one bloop, bloop. Okay, we're doing two bloops. I don't know if that'll be enough. Again, we might have to add different amounts because this is thinner than this, so we don't really know what, what's gonna happen yet. So what we're looking for is a consistency, okay? That's why I teach you how to eyeball things because measurements will be different for each brand, each day, each different bottle of Floetrol, you know what I mean? So it's all about eyeballing, yeah, see? I'm definitely, first of all, you do have to mix for a while. Um, to get it mixed in, which is fine, but I'm definitely going to need more. So that was two bloops already, but I would say that was like, I don't know, I couldn't even begin to guess. So what, what I personally, I do like a bit of a thicker cell activator, but this is still very watery. So we're really gonna pump it up a bit. Bloop, see that was quite a bit like, I might even go to two to one. And again, I this bottle of Floetrol might be might have been a little thin. There are some thicker ones. So that's what you have to um, 
think about as well. It takes so long to mix paints, doesn't it? <laughs> but you saw it took quite a bit um, to add. I'm not gonna need that much Amsterdam because it is a bit thicker. You know what I should go get? You know, Food Art Co. has that uh, paint blender with my name on the box, by the way. That would be helpful for me right now. Okay. I don't even know if I'm happy with this one yet, but my arm's getting tired. And I have to like entertain you guys if I'm just gonna be mixing for like an hour. Um, so you see, some people might be okay with this. There's hardly a trace left, but I happen to like more of a trace. So guess what's happening? Bloop. So you can see I added, I think that should be enough. I added quite a bit personally. Now, again, I've never used this before. So if it happens to be too much or if it got too thick, all I have to do to thin it out is add a bit of Floetrol and I won't really know until I actually use it. So don't be afraid of um, adding and taking away, and you know what I mean? But this for me will be better. I already see there's like, I like a, about a one second tray, so I like it to stand up for, for a second before it sinks down. Again, that's me personally, I do tend to mix my paints a bit thicker than others. If you're looking for popping cells, that's the way to go. Okay, that's better. It has some body to it. It's still like, so now I'll do the drip test. So my drip test is I go like this. One, two, three, four. So normally I like it for five seconds. If it drips before five seconds, it's still too thin. One, two, three, four. Almost. But for now, let's assume she's okay. Although, like, part of me wants to thicken it up just a second. But let's leave it for now and we'll discuss. And on that one, I'm actually, on the tri art ones, on the side, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint like this. So I know that is tri art. I just put a bit of paint to the side. Okay. Let's do the Amsterdam and let's hope, and I'm definitely not gonna need as much Amsterdam in there. Um, but we'll see, I shouldn't, I'd never say never, right? <laughs> I hope you're having fun watching me mix. <laughs> but I suppose it's important, you know, also, these thin popsicle sticks are not the best for mixing, to be honest, because they're such a small surface. I just don't have any clean mixing sticks yet. Okay, but you can see it's already much thicker and I put much less than the tri art, right? And that looks nice. So, hold on, let me mix another second and we'll do our drip test. I might want to thicken it up a bit, but I think right now it's similar to the triart. One, two, three, four, five. It has a nicer drag to it. So, let's see. I might, I'm just gonna compare side by side because I want them to be even. I'm gonna put a dot more just to make myself feel better. A dot more of the tri art to make them equal. But you see how much, now this is again, this is just my preference. So you might not have to add this much and your bottle of Floetrol might be thicker than mine. You never know. Already though, I do see, like you probably can't see it in this light, but I do see a bit of a, a different color. The tri art is a touch brighter white than the Amsterdam, if that matters, doesn't really, but just an interesting, and I think the triers you have to mix up longer. They don't break apart as easy as the Amsterdam. 
but we'll see. Okay, so let's put those aside. Here, we'll go like this, like this. Now, um, let's go to the paint spray. Hold on, I gotta like take a break. My arm's like on fire. Okay. Here we go, Payne's Gray, brand new. Okay. Blue, blue, just because. I do see also this Payne's Gray, because Payne's Gray is actually not gray, it's, a, it's blue, and Amsterdam, is one of the only paints, see how blue it is? The only paint brands that make it almost look like a grayish black, whereas golden and things like that. However, on this, it didn't look as blue as, as it's showing here. So I don't know if we like that, but if you want a blue, okay. But I might have to therefore get the black, but we're just gonna do Payne's Gray in, in comparisons, but look at how blue it is. So it will, look, it will look a touch different and still, I, I can see it's still very thin. Oops, I went overboard. So yeah, I find it interesting that Amsterdam is one of the only Payne's grays that um, don't really show up as blue. This is a very pretty color, for sure. It's very deep. Um, definitely need more. So what I'm learning, Ooh, what I'm learning is I need to add a lot of um, tri art to be happy with the consistency. Now, that's not a bad thing. It's just a thing, right? Because if the cells look nice, then you got to do what you got to do, right? It is a bit tedious though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Mm, still a bit runny. Hmm. And again, maybe I don't need, be. maybe this paint is so magical that it doesn't need to be as thick as I normally make it, right? So these are all things that we're going to see when I actually pour. It's very hard to tell things until you actually uh, do blow it out and see, although I like this better. See, it has like a nice, I can't tell. It's not even really that drippy, but. It's nice thickness, it's just not drippy, drippy. Hmm, curious. All right, let's wait and see. Let's do our good old favorite here. So once I finish this, I'm gonna have to mix up all those other paints as well. See, I'm definitely gonna have to put more in here. But you can see the color, it's more of a black than a blue. Oh, ho hum. So, after I mix these, I'll mix my colors and then we'll get actually to the fun part. And because I'm using a white cell activator and a dark cell activator, I'll have to be doing different layering. See how nice, this is nice and smooth and I like it. It has a little bit of a trace. That's what I'm talking about. I like it. Um, we'll have to do different layering because um, layering changes with the color, type of cell activator and the color that you're using. All right, this is thick, but it's like doesn't drizzle like I like one too, but I guess I'll leave it the way it is. It's just not, the looks of it isn't floating my boat, but I know people love it, so it's quite thick. All right, so let me put a little marker on this so we know that it's tri art. Um, you guys don't wanna watch me mix up the other paints, do you? Maybe you do. Um, all right, 
I'll mix up the other paints, hold on. Okay, this shouldn't take too long because they're all tubies. I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see in this light. This is the Triart. This is the <laughs> Amsterdam. So in my light, I can see that one is darker than the other. The Triart is more blue. It's still a gorgeous color, but just a little different. Okay, so very simply, since we're just doing tubes, I'm gonna bloop in my bear 8300 straight from the can. Get this at Home Depot, ready? Bloop, two bloops in each. Bloop. Because these gouache mix in really nicely, I don't have to worry too much. Okay, there you go, easy peasy. And now we're gonna bloop in our Dress on your gloss. Look at that. Now, like I said, these are pretty liquidy, so I'm not so worried. Two, three, four. Let's see if I know what I'm doing or not, right? <laughs> you never know until the mix. So yeah, I used to love these just like bright, bold colors. There was like no rhyme or reason because I was just doing them on tiles. So shapes didn't matter. Although I did make cool shapes. I actually, when I first started, I had a lot of people order macro. This is nice. It's a little, actually it's like a little thick, but not horrible. Uh, I'll thin it down. Maybe we'll see how the other paints go. So I used to do coasters and people would order big macro uh, prints. They looked really cool. I should do that again. Look at this color, that was my favorite. And what was cool was I, I could like do super close up and make really, really cool shapes on a tile and have them turn into like three or four foot canvases, you know? These colors are wild. I don't know if we're gonna actually like huh, what we create, but we'll see. I think I might need to add a bit more. It's a little dull. Good consistency though. Um, I'm gonna add some more. See the difference of when I put it in? That's the vibrancy I want. So some paints you need to add a lot if you want that color to be popping, which I do, especially with this fun color, right? And then we'll go to the opera pink. No? Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Come on, come on. There you go. She's a thicky. There you go. Mm, a little more. Why not, right? There you go. Okay. All right. Let's get her mixing stick here. Like, never in a world would I do this now, right? But it is kind of fun. God. Arms are getting <laughs> tired. All right, fun. And then I'm excited to see what actually happens. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to adjust the triart cell activator somehow. They don't look like perfectly perfect to me. But I, because I've never used them before, I don't know what they're supposed to look like. You know what I mean? So we shall see together. Mm -mm. I love this color. Well, she quite, she's quite thick. 
And then finally, we'll do this ultramarine. And I already have my 24 karat gold mixed up. Then we'll actually get to work of doing, you know, something fun. Mm, she's a little crusty. I haven't used this color in God knows when. Like I'm nervous, right? Is this crazy? Also guys, I guess I'm blowing and I haven't bl blown since I've hurt myself. I think I'll be okay, but that's exciting. But you also have to excuse me if it's not like <sighs> great. I might have to take it slow, you know? Um, all right. Definitely need more. See, it's not super vibrant. Yeah, we want it vibrant. I'm gonna have to, oops. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to thin it out um, because I've added so much tube, but I'd rather have a very vibrant color. There we go. All right, colors are mixed. See how much effort it takes? <laughs> That's why I just want my paints a big step for me, and then I can just blow, spin, repeat. That's all I want to do. Okay, so let me get prepared to do the comparison. That's still very thick. Look at this. I might have to put some in a, another little cuppy. Remember, every layer has got to be perfect. Hey guys, the second video is too long, so it's here's a little, a little snippet. Bloopy, I, I did both I Payne's grays like and okay. titanium whites, okay. and um, I was kind of surprised with the results. So stay tuned to next weekend for the video. Bye bye <laughs>